<laughs> we have... Bless you. We have some guests in this evening from Russia. <laughs> I think they may be spies. <laughs> Go and check and see if they're wearing a wire. Welcome to Democracy. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Dinara. Dinara, from? Russia. Which part? Central part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> which, which town? Ufa. Ufa? Yep. I, I love it in Ufa, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's my favorite part, yeah. I, I love it in Ufa. And where are you from? Uh, Natasha, from Russia. Ufa? Nope. Well, where are you? Where? Uh, it's impossible to repeat. It's impossible to repeat? Yeah. Ekaterinburg. Ekaterinburg? Yes. Yes, I know where Ekaterinburg is. Well, I've heard of Ekaterinburg. Something happened. No, something very bad happened there, actually. Uh, um, well, what are you doing in the United States, ladies? Just vacation. Oh, vacation, really? Where are you vacationing? Near any military bases? <laughs> As you can see, I'm really up on politics right now. So you're on vacation, that's nice. Are you traveling across the United States or just Los Angeles? From Colorado. Colorado? I know why you're here. <laughs> no. You're here to enjoy a very specific freedom <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that exists in the state of Colorado, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Look closer. Which one of these three people is not on marijuana right now? <laughs> well, good news, stoners. I, I'm going to send you to our restaurant, a restaurant where you can eat like crazy. <laughs> what? Uh, Sewer, sewer. Have you ever seen uh, Bev the Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewife of Beverly Hills? You, I know, me too. So, <laughs> one of the ladies who's the Real Housewives is a lady called Lisa Vanderpump. Vanderpump? Craig, that sounds like a penis enlargement device. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been to Scotland? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, we'll send you to that. She's got a lovely, re she's actually a very nice lady, and she's got a lovely uh, restaurant called Sewer, where you can eat, and it's, I've been, it's actually very, it's very swish. <laughs> it's not unlike some places I've been in uh, Moscow. I've been to Moscow, yes, and St. Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> I think I learned one Russian word. You know, sometimes I wonder why I bother asking anyone up here. <laughs> it's on time, but it's been a long, long day. And you've got the Sandman at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on. And let's do it anyway. It's OK. You can always sleep through one tomorrow. OK. Hey, hey. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Hyundai. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
That's great, everybody. Thanks very much. That's great. Thank you. More than enough. Thanks, everybody. Well, yeah, no, no, it's all right. It's fine. Thanks, everybody. That was really good. It was very, very believable indeed, wasn't it? Wow. wow. I was like, yeah. oh, they really mean it. And then they just stopped. <laughs> They didn't, uh, they didn't commit to giving you that 10. Well, they, I heard the warm-up comedian. Now, we call him a warm-up comedian. Yeah, but he's not really a comedian. Not really a comedian, no. He's a, but he, he asked for a 10, but they didn't give him a 10. <laughs> they gave me a 10. <laughs> they gave me a 10. Oh, let me tell you something. Not only was it a 10, but I liked the way it felt. It's a good 10, solid 10. Tickly. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is. Although, another tough day for the NBA, Donald Sterling. <laughs> Donald Sterling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shall we do him again? Yeah. Donald Sterling. <laughs> He's trying to back out of selling the Clippers, and if that weren't enough, he's suing the NBA for a billion dollars. Oh, dear. <laughs> I haven't seen a senile old man fight like this since the last Expendables movie. Anyway, with all this going on, the LA Clippers fans are very nervous. How nervous are they? Uh, let's play how nervous oh, yeah, are they, all right? Yeah, yeah. All right. They are more nervous than uh, Scooby-Doo at Michael Vick's house. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. They're more nervous than the Duck Dynasty crew at a gay pride parade. Okay. <laughs> They're more nervous than Jay-Z in an elevator with Solange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're more nervous than Nicole Kidman in a Botox shortage. Oh! Oh, hell? Yeah, oh, that was I, hard. But wait a minute, I just got a big forehead. <laughs> More nervous than CNN it sweeps. More nervous than Hillary Clinton checking Bill's internet history. That would be good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Wouldn't the nervous person there be Bill Clinton watching Hillary That's checking his? That's what I thought, what? yeah. What are you doing, honey? I was just looking at... I was on Pinterest. <laughs> Don't look at my Pinterest board, honey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Donald Sterling thing is... No one's sure how it's going to play out. All I know is when they make the movie about Sterling, it should be play, he should be played by Mickey Rourke. Because look at the pictures side by side. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> do you know that you know, the Canadian police are hunting for three inmates who escaped from a prison in Quebec using a helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> How do you sneak a helicopter into prison? They're like, are you here to see someone? Yeah. <laughs> what you got there? Nothing. <laughs> Is that a helicopter in your pants? No, it's uh, IBS. My, it's my IBS playing up. <laughs> That's a helicopter in my Yeah, hand. I see that. I see that. Keep, keep going. I'm very excited by that. <laughs> the World Cup begins on Thursday. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I love a Brazilian. And the... Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but Jennifer Lopez has backed out of performing at the opening ceremony. Organizers should have known it was coming, because when J-Lo backs out of something, you hear... Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Big butt. Yeah, big butt. Yeah. Yeah. They love a J-Lo ass they joke, do like they? they do like that. I have to say, you can keep your Kardashians. For me, that's America's... That's America's sweetheart right there. That's royalty, yeah. That's... I've seen that thing close up. Oh, not, yeah. not that close, but, you know... Close I saw it, I saw it, like, you know, in the same room. I was like, oh, wow. Beep, 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 beep. 
Did anyway, you, that's enough. Wasn't there music they played that when, when Yeah, 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 yeah. When when it passed by me, yeah. Yeah, right. Made up music that is nothing to do with Star Wars for legal reasons. What the hell, man? You cheap bastard! Just give Lucas his money. Give Lucas his money! Come on! Poor guy needs a dollar or two, doesn't he? Yeah, right. Yeah, he's he's poor. Sure. Can you do his voice, Lucas? George Lucas. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's hear it. George Lucas, I'm gonna sue you. Is that a? Sounds a little bit like Bill Clinton no, checking no, his no, internet history. Uh, George Lucas, I have a, a digital helicopter in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, honey? <laughs> Keep going. I'm getting real work. <laughs> Get us to the commercial. Coming up after the break, Craig shows us how to sneak a helicopter into prison. That's code for quick sexual favor. your Donald Sterling. That's very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very it's good. also my Expendables movie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, look, it's Donald, Donald Sterling over there. Hey, there he is. Get him. Hey, um, have you ever been to Ekaterinburg in Russia? Sure, yeah, twice, yeah. Yeah, I ran, a, uh, I ran a, a profitable uh, a borscht uh, business. <laughs> really? What kind of borscht was it? Because uh, it there was... are many different types, actually. Yeah, well, th this type was laced with cocaine, so it was... Uh, <laughs> did very well. Did very well. Hello? Oh, it's uh, George Lucas. <laughs> we weren't doing the song. We didn't do the song. They'll, I, I prop, heard it. they'll, they'll oh, cut it out. They'll well, cut out the song, even I, though I, we're live. I, I we'll distinctly heard it. I distinctly heard it. <laughs> no, we did another song. It did -de 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 -de, nothing to do with Star Wars. Can I actually Can I uh, see Star Wars? Uh, I own that, too. I'm suing you right now. <laughs> I'm sending papers right now. Papers. Why, actually, why, why, don't you, why don't you come on the show and talk about Star Wars? Oh, it'd be great. Great. Okay, sure. Have your people call my people. Hold on a second. My, honey, this is a, I'm having some borscht soup with uh, cocaine in it right now. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Boy, you want to go to a galaxy far, far away. Oh, 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 oh. What time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? Is that a helicopter in your pants, or are you just happy to tweet me? It's tweet mail time! Play the jingle, would you? You're up flashes and you're a litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check some tweets. Plus email. Plus your email. Email time again. This is from David in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Have you ever... Uh, Tulsa, yeah. Have you ever been to Tulsa? Tulsa, yeah, sure, sure. Wh what did you like about it? The middle part. Is that like the middle part of Russia? Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It's like Ufa. Yeah, Ufa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, David in uh, Tulsa, which is America's Ufa, says, Craig, I'm not a fan of cold soup. Are you? Well, in the 80s, I had a lot of Jeff's cold soup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Daddy likes it hot. No, the cold soup with the... Uh, right, I understand. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. I think they thought it was a sex thing. No, they don't. They don't know. It's fine. It is now, actually. It just became one. Yeah. 
Do you like cold soup? I'm not crazy about cold soup. I'm not a fan of cold soup, no. Why? It seems like a lie. <laughs> I think if you're going to eat soup, you know, heat it up. Yeah, it belies the soup. It, it, it's, it's, it's flies in the face of what soup is, Craig. <laughs> this is from Lola in Ocean City in Maryland. Uh, we like Maryland, don't we? Yeah, big fans. Well, yeah. what happened in Maryland? You, uh, you got crabs. Right, crabs. You get crabs in Maryland. <laughs> this is from, from Lola, and you know what Lola wants. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What Lola wants. Lola gets. She says, Craig, did you know the Susquehanna Hat Company exists, but it's in New York? The Sus... <laughs> the Susquehanna Hat Company! Don't bring that up ever again. Gets Craig very upset. <laughs> Hello? Hello, this is uh, Michael Fitzsimmons, the president of the Susquehanna Hat Company. How are you, sir? Susquehanna Hat Company on Bagel Street? That's correct. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this a joke for our, uh, our older viewers? <laughs> this, this is More a... really a joke for historians, yeah, this is... really. <laughs> This is like the Abbott and Costello bit that we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, well, well who, who's the joke for? <laughs> it's, it's really for us, I think. It's, what? It's for us, I think. Who? Who? What? What? No, where? <laughs> no, what was yesterday? Susquehanna Hat Company! <laughs> oh, this is George Lucas again. I'm going to Ah, uh, knock it off. Hello. Hi, it's Donald Sterling. How are you? Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Oh, yes, yes, of course. But hey. Not... Oh, okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I hope that's uh, I hope that's cleared things up for you, everyone. All right, let's just calm down. A bit of meditation. guest tonight is a very talented woman. Her latest movie, Trouble Dolls. Ooh, Trouble Dolls. Trouble Dolls. Oh. It debuts uh, Sunday at the LA Film Fest. <laughs> Megan Mullally, everybody! Megan Mullally! You look really classy tonight, really. It's you... pants! No, oh, come on! <laughs> it was going so well! I ruined it! You looked like a very elegant, you looked like a winner. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. you looked like, oh, oh, she's a winner, and then you did the, meh, my pants thing. <laughs> I know, I ruined it. No, you didn't, it was good. I did my right. own hair and makeup, too. What? Yeah. You did not? your own hair and makeup? Mm -hmm. I did mine, too. Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, vulnerable, but yet masculine. You seem, you seem very jolly too. Yeah, I'm in a good mood tonight, yeah, actually. Yeah, I don't know tonight. why. I guess it's uh, spring is in the air. Summer, summer's in the air. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel a bit frisky this evening. Oh, really? Yeah, I think my pheromones oh. must be up. I picked the right night to be here. Yeah, well, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> well, yes, I can tell. <laughs> 
I'm a little closer than you guys are. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. The film looks good. Yeah. Is it about uh, women that love bread too much? Yes. <laughs> it's about cake eating women. Um, <laughs> no, it's about it's a it's a movie about two uh, women in New York who decide to take a trip out to Los Angeles and surprise their aunt, which is me, and I am a judge on a show that's rather resembles uh, it's like a talent show, like a talent a, show like a that. Talent. It's where you find people. Well, is that America's that. favorite scrotum? What people? is it called? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Will Forte's in it too. Oh, nice. Jeffrey Tambor. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're all. Uh, you, you were just on Broadway as well, weren't you? M uh, my husband Nick and I just did a play off Broadway, and I'm getting ready to go back and do a play on Broadway. Oh, nice. With Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick. They've been on Broadway before. I know. Yeah. I like big oh, that'll be cars. nice. Yeah. What do you? What did you do with your husband? Um, we did a. Uh, play not you know, the play. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. I understand. Um, we did a pl uh, play called Annapurna by Char White. It's more of a drama, and people were audibly weeping at the end of every performance, which was strange. No, I've, I've had that here. Yes. I know. I'm familiar with that. Yes. Might be some tonight. That's have you ever been to... Yeah. Have you ever been to Russia? I have not. Oh, you'd like no, it. No, but I know that those girls have. Yeah, no, they... Uh, there they are. The, it, uh, Ufa is one of the uh, central towns in Russia, apparently. Uh-huh. I heard that, yeah. Well, have you never, have you been but to Europe? I or? have not, well, yes, but I haven't been to Russia, no. How far east have you been in Europe? Um, Prague. That's pretty far east. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been to Prague. I hear it's lovely. It is lovely. Mm, it's very It's lovely. no Ufa, but it's lovely. No. Can't, can't hold a candle to No. I, I think you should go to Russia. You'd like it. Very nice. Well, I'll head to the airport straight from here. St. Petersburg. I, it was an amazing town. It's the Paris of, uh... That part. Quit bragging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So listen, you're going back to Broadway. Yeah, and I'm going back in a Terrence McNally uh, play called It's Only a Play. It's a revival. Get it? No. That was yeah, confusing. Yeah. No, no, no. I get it. It's, it's a play. It's called It's Only a Play. Yeah. It's by Terrence McNally. Yeah. He's very talented. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good memory. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you're not playing that. I'm it? not doing that. No, because Nick's going to be in LA for a lot of the time. So <gasps> you're going to be you're going to be separate. So you'll have to do it on the phone. Well, we have a two-week rule. We've never been apart for more than two weeks. So he's going to be coming to visit me every other weekend, and then on his hiatus weeks and you know Thanksgiving and all of that. So he'll be there quite a bit. But right. there won't be as much of this as as normal. As there usually is. And is that is that what you do? <clears throat> That's. <laughs> That's my technique. Um, it's world, well, I can see why you two are so happy. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, clearly I, know how to please a man. Yeah. A very famous sex tape that's been circulating where I, I demonstrate my technique, which uh, is pretty much what I'm doing right now. So you don't have to, don't have to buy the tape. To do, she, no. We're not allowed to do this? <laughs> what the oh, hell, man? We're doing it for the end. No, you, 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 you can't keep doing it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, we, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. You have to make up like three minutes. Well, that, I didn't know you couldn't do that. That doesn't seem like a rude thing to me. You're a racist, man. Can you do this? Can you do that? <laughs> you just make this crap up, don't you? Oh, I don't know. Do you have a nice time in New York? I don't think you're not a New Yorker, are you? <laughs> oh boy, um, I'm a Californian. Mm, I know. Although I grew up in Oklahoma, where <gasps> Tulsa resides. It's the Ufa of America. It's, it's, <laughs> it certainly is. And um, I grew up in Oklahoma City, but relatives in Tulsa. I want to get that perfectly clear. I want to make that very, very clear. And <laughs> uh, yes, but I was born in Los Angeles, and I grew up in Oklahoma, and I've lived in Los Angeles for a long, long time. Do you think of yourself as a West Coaster? Yes. And well, you... We almost always even vacation in California when we're not going to Ufa. <laughs> but I enjoy New York. I enjoy some New York time. Do, 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 I, I, you know what? I, I, you know what gets me <laughs> is in the winters. Actually, I can't take it anymore. I've I've become a great big. Can I say? Ooh la la! 
I'm gonna say it. Ooh la la! I, I think if I say it, it's okay. If I say it, it's okay. <clears throat> Anyway, the thing is, I, I, I don't do well, in the, and I'm from a cold-weather climate originally, but I, I, I can't take the cold anymore. I was there once. I've, I've done a, f a few little musicals on, on uh, Broadway. And, I know. Um, I, the last time I was there, I think I got seasonal affective disorder, which I thought was a made-up thing. But no, I that's a real I, thing. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah. I, think I, <laughs> I think I really oh, got it. You can it, do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I you get very, terribly depressed? I got very depressed, and I would, I would, I would crawl to Central Park and try to find like a ray of sunlight and stand on it. It was really sad. Yeah, that's. It's cold, sad, seasonal effects. Yes, you, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, who knew? Don't you know. get on my case. Oh, I know. We have to take a break. Nope. Yes. No. Yeah, we'll be right back with yeah. Megan Mullally, everybody. <laughs> Megan Mullally. Did you, did you have a nice time? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we were talking about uh, Texas. We were both there at the same time. I had a lovely time. Did you like Austin. it? Austin. I love Austin. It's very nice I could place. live there. Well, why don't you? All right. I'll go. No, right no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, why, I, I mean that's, places uh, to go. it's a good, uh, like, if, if, if Nick's in L.A. and you're in New York, you could meet. In what about this gesture? Can you do that? <laughs> Even if I know what she's actually doing when she does that? All right. As long as I don't say what we're doing while we're doing that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just think it then, and you'll have to put it in yourself. <laughs> it's pants. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> what? You're in a very cheeky mood tonight, aren't you? Yeah, always. Mm. Mm. We're out of time, actually. Really. Nope. You always say that. Well, not always. Are Only at the end of the time. Or do that something? Are we going to play a game? Pipe what, about, my uh, what about how many dings till we're done? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Right. Yep, we're done. Ah! No! You get two dings and oofa! Uh, all right. <laughs> two dings and oofa? That's a play. That's the name of the An off Broadway next play. Record. Yeah. <laughs> two dings and oofa. A very, very talented actor and, uh, and comedian. He stars in How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is a fantastic film, which is in <laughs> theaters this Friday. Take a look at this. TJ <laughs> Miller, everybody! TJ Miller! It was good to see you on Sunday at the premiere. It was very fun. But you look great now. That's a completely different look. <laughs> like you had a red carpet look, what, and now you've got this what look. Was, what, what did you think the look was at the premiere? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, it was different. It was, a, it was a different. You didn't have a bow tie on. No, certainly not. All oh, right. And, uh, I also, he wasn't selling cars earlier that day. <laughs> It's kind of, is that seersucker? Yeah. Yeah, that's well, one of those things. Is there more than one of those things then? Well, or? it's from Sears. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? If you go up to a very small, tiny person and you want to press their nipples, that's what you do. Let's get started. All on right. That. Yeah. Oh, like, imagine I'm the tiny person. 
no, no. That's all right, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's it's a good movie, movie, though, isn't it? It's a great Whoa, movie. Oh, what? It's such a great movie, and it's such a... This, it's the second installment of this film that was already so incredible. Right. And they really raised the bar for it. It's really, really, really great. I know. I mean, like, I'm kind of embarrassed because I'm not usually in good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been down that road. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm finally in something that's good, and it's very strange. The Silicon Valley's good as well. Yes, that's very, great very show, good. Man. I don't know if people have seen it, but Silicon Valley. No, yeah, Valley. that's good show. Yeah. Yeah. On HBO, watch it now. HBO yeah. Go. Yeah. Um, yeah, you that's play, a great... You play a stoner in that. that yeah, movie. I play kind of a heavy set guy who's arrogant and not self aware and is always stoned and drinking. I don't know where they got that from. But... <laughs> Is it something that you would even consider doing in your own life? What, being uh, heavy set and uh, <laughs> being heavy set and being totally unaware of myself and arrogant? Yeah, I'd consider it. All right. Uh, uh, hey, uh, you're from Denver, right? I'm from Colorado. Colorado, yeah. 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 Do you, yeah. Do you have What's a place there? Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. it in Denver or is, where is it? It's in uh, it's in Dover. You ever you ever been to Dover? I, Dover, Colorado. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you have, have you, you ever been to Dover? You know, I I haven't. Hold on. <laughs> Jeff, you said you wouldn't yeah. do that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You got him, Jeff. You yeah. got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got you, man. But I yeah I'm. I'm from Colorado, and I have a friend in Colorado. I think well, if a... you've got a friend, let's see him. <laughs> well, roll a clip. <laughs> Just kidding, there's no clip. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there's a clip of a guy being like, so I'm friends with TJ. Uh, <laughs> bye. That's yeah, it. that'd be... Um, are, you know, are you sure we don't have a clip? It's... Do you we have, have a clip I... of me being... No, yes, no, no. Jack, you promised! <laughs> you swore this wouldn't happen! Got yeah. you again, man! Yeah. Uh, but I have a friend in Colorado, Dan Palisotti, a great family friend, who loves you. He loves your show. He's religious about it. Oh. And that's great. That's great, except every time I see him, the first thing he says, this is true, is he describes one of your bits. Uh-oh. And so he goes, okay, you... What do you mean, bits? Well, but like... Like, little, you know... <laughs> Your skits and your spoofs oh, right, right, and your right, right, sillies right. and your goofs. Right, right. Um, so Dan Valsotti will always come and say, uh, okay, so this is amazing. So Ferguson comes out and there's a horse for no reason. It's, sec it's secretariat. <laughs> and then... And then, and then, and then he rings a bell, and then people come out and they're dancing with him. But some of them are cheerleaders, and he just sounds like a lunatic <laughs> to everyone around him. And then at the end of it, he goes, "You know what? You've got to see it. You should see it." Yeah, yeah. So the implication being that only one person in Denver watches this show is that what you're saying? No, I'm sure there's more. I just only have one friend in Denver. Ah, I see. <laughs> nice save. Uh, but no. <laughs> so anyway, Silicon Valley. I Silicon see, Valley, good show. Are you good with computers? Do you do you look up the porn? I, I'm not. I'm I'm not as good at computers, but yeah, I know a couple of uh, pornographic algorithms that I put together. So <laughs> I'd love I'd love to see those. Love to see that. But you know what a pornographic algorithm is. Right? I, I imagine it's like a regular algorithm except uh, more explicit. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. There's a lot more uh, zeros than ones. Oh, right. right. <laughs> do you ever do this one? Do you ever wink at somebody a lot and they don't like it, so you pretend you had something in your eye? You're kind of like, hey, you look great. <laughs> no, but I'm going to try it. Have you ever do this one? Like when you're arguing with someone and then you turn to your invisible friend for a validation, so you go like, oh, I can't believe you're saying that. Yeah, but sometimes the invisible friend isn't there, so I'm like, what is, what's this guy talking about? <laughs> Derek! <laughs> Derek, don't leave me hanging here, Derek! Your invisible friend is a name? Yeah, Derek. Well, he goes by of Derek. His invisible friend? No, please. No. Uh, uh, listen to me. I went on. I went on vacation one time with that guy, and now everybody thinks he's my best friend. Mm -hmm. He's also my imaginary friend. Right. But really, he's an enemy. Really? Yeah. You those... must try and rid resentment. Get it out of your body. Don't have enemies, man. No. Don't. No, it's bad. Bad karma. Don't do it. Even if they stole your swimming suit and left you <laughs> naked for dead on the beach? Craig, some people can't be forgiven. <laughs> Especially if you're wearing a snorkel on the land. 
Snorkel on the Land is a great Broadway play, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, Megan Mullally's in it. It's about this thing, and at the end, people are crying. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, like, I can't believe the snorkel was his father. Yeah. <laughs> I love that horse for no reason. I'm so happy. It's not a yeah, horse for no show. reason. You know what's interesting, though, is that no matter what the weather's like outside, it's always a sunny day over there. That's true. <laughs> and there's always stirrups within a foot. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'm a bit of a wordsmith when it comes to equestrian stuff. You ever, uh, ever ridden a pony? Yeah. You ever had a pony ride you? I have to admit, I, you know, I, I can't watch a show every night because I perform almost every single night, but I will say that, um, you know, it's an honor to be on the show, and it's an honor to be around that horse. <laughs> and it's an what about Jeff, to... man? What about Jeff? Well, Jeff kind of messed me over a few times on this show. <laughs> he's winking at you, or maybe he's got something in his eye. Do it again. No, no, I think he's definitely winking at you. Man, can you believe this guy, Fred? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Fred? Fred? <laughs> Fred. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, TJ, my old friend, uh, the clock has, uh, you know, moseyed on past the thing, and well, uh, do you know that? Then I'd like to go back and say that when I started to say I was honored, I actually had a joke that I was going to make. Oh, okay. Later, yeah, yeah, do but I forgot it, and that's why it sort of hung out there as a, an earnest and sentimental statement. So, <laughs> don't. Don't mistake my, my genuineness for anything other than just forgetting a punchline. Thanks, man. You're welcome here anytime. <laughs>